Greetings, Patrick here, Have Cheetah Will View, and uh, uh, if it's if you're here, it must be Tuesday. If it's Tuesday, that can only mean one thing. It's Library Day, and it is. Not only is it Library Day, but it's also Bag Sale Week. So that's the last uh, uh, the last week of every month. Uh, it's the bag sale. You get in, you get a bag. You go in there and fill up with six dollars worth of goodies. So. Um, before I show you the films, I, I took a picture of what I got, but I didn't show everything. So I'm going to show you that I picked up some books, too. Um, which caused our clerk to laugh, actually giggle a little bit. Because he actually got some books. But I've been getting a lot of books recently. Um, and so I picked up three today. I picked up one by an author named Harlan Coben. Now, I, I, I've heard the name. In fact... In fact, this, this author is mentioned a lot in the Lucas Davenport series. So I was curious about why uh, John Sanford kept on mentioning his books. So I decided to pick one up. Um, I don't know anything about it, so it'll be a blind buy. Uh, but speaking of Lucas Davenport and John S Sanford, I did manage to pick up two that I have not read yet. Uh, I picked up Golden Prey. And I picked up Naked Prey. So I, I had never read either one of those, so definitely am ready to seat my teeth into those. All right, all right. But that's not what you're here to see. I know what you're here to see. You're here to see the movies. You're here to see the Blu-rays. You're here to see uh, 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 what we got, me and the Cheetah got. All right, uh, I'm going to do a little reverse this time. I'm going to go Blu-rays first, and then I'll do DVDs. Um, so uh, the first one I picked up, I picked up uh, the, the new live-action Little Mermaid. So uh, I've heard a lot. <laughs> I've heard a lot of sprack about this. So uh, a lot of people did not like this movie. A lot of people did like it. Um, the, the crazy ass people on the right were saying it's woke, whatever the hell that means. Um, all I know about Disney is that I wish they wouldn't mess around with their animated movies. They don't have to remake every single movie into a anime into a live action film. Um, yeah, it takes away some of the magic, honestly. When it comes out and it gets a little bit pounded like this movie did, it sort of affects the other movie as well. So I wish Disney would quit doing that. That would be smart business on their on their behalf. Um, all right. Um, oh, this is weird. This was weird. When I went to, when I went over there today, uh, on the very top shelf, they had a roll of Blu-rays. A, a, a brand new, in the in, all, all factory sealed, all blue. Uh, and I'm looking at them going like, those sort of look like Dollar Tree movies. So I picked one out and I looked in the back of it and sure shit enough, there it is. That's a telltale sign of a Dollar Tree. They always cover up the barcode. For the original barcode, they always cover it up with their barcode. And so there was probably close to 30 movies from Dollar from uh, from Dollar Tree up there, but they were all Blu-rays. No DVDs. None. Not one. That was interesting to me. Uh, so I upgraded. Uh, I had this on, on, on uh, DVD, but I upgraded to Blu-ray. For uh, Gloria Bell. All right, A24. That's right, upgraded A24. Uh, next up uh, is this was not a Dollar Tree. This was actually donated. Uh, oh, let me see if uh, let me see this. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, so this is a uh, uh, this is Black Mass. Uh, this is supposed to be the story about Whitey Bulger. And stars Johnny Depp and a whole slew of, of, of good actors. Rory Cochran, Benedict, Pam, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, Kevin Bacon, Jesse Plemons. So uh, I heard this was pretty good, so I picked this one up. Uh, I also looked at it, and it has a code. So I'm going to flash the code up there. First come, first serve. Digital code right there. Don't know if it's good or not. But uh, at least I gave it up there, and you guys can tell me if it was good or not. First come, first serve. Uh, okay, back to Dollar Tree stuff. I uh, got a Western movie called Traded. 
with Trace Atkins, uh, Michael Pear, and Chris 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 Christopher Chris Christopherson. The last movie I saw Trace Atkins in was The Virginian, and ooh, I did not really like that one too much. Um, but we'll give Trace another shot. Uh, next up is Richard Dreyfus in Astronaut. This is a Dollar Tree. Uh, this is a Dollar Tree Blu-ray. Don't know anything about it. Uh, pick this one up as well. I think this is a Dutch movie called Super Mess. Based on the back of it, it looks Dutch. I don't know. Could be cute. Could be cute. I don't know. Well, you need Dollar Tree Theater material, right? That's Dollar Tree material right there. Dollar Tree Theater. Uh, next up, and I was surprised to see this on there, and that is Night Hunter, because I don't think that one came out not that long ago. And this one stars, uh, uh, Henry Cavill from Superman, Man of Steel, and of course the lovely Alexandra Daddario, and Ben Kingsley. All right, uh, and, it, and, and I'm going to do the centerpiece a little early. Uh, the centerpiece of this is I got a steel book, a Blu-ray steel book of The Dark Knight. So that was cool to get. I already had this movie all over the place, but I couldn't resist picking up a, a, a steel book. All right, there we go. That's the Blu-rays. So we got a couple, some we got some DVDs here, including some TV series. Uh, got the Flash. Hopefully this will be coming out on Blu-ray sometime soon at the library, but you know how it goes. Uh, when you see it, you grab it because you just, you know, you might not get a second chance. So um, that's what I did. Uh, next up is Guardians of the Galaxy 3. I, I paid the right price for it. I paid about 25 cents for it, maybe maybe 24 cents. Uh, what's it about? But I would, but I think it's fair. I'm not really high on this. Uh, I don't know how good it's going to be. I already saw Warlock on it and already hated it. So this is not my favorite Marvel trilogy at all. Don't like these. Don't like the trilogy. Glad James Gunn is gone. Now he can go fuck up the DC universe and maybe leave the Marvel one alone. Uh, let's see. Uh, I picked up a independent horror film called Angel. I have no idea what this is. This looks totally... I have no idea. I think it might be English. Concept Media. Uh, 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 ITN dis uh, distrib uh, Distributing. So maybe our good pal Echo Zero will know what this is about. Um, I'm sure he probably does. ITN being ITN. I, this was not a Dollar Tree either. This was donated. It's Factory Seal, but it's not a Dollar Tree movie. Okay, got some TV shows here. Uh, I don't know how the... I, I would like to know how the hell this got here to Michigan. I truly don't know. Uh, it's weird as hell. But uh, um, <laughs> I got season six of Magnum P.I. with Tom Selleck. Now, I have season one. So this is season six. And this one came from the Las Vegas Clark County District, Library District. So, this one traveled a long way to get here, from Hawaii to Las Vegas to Michigan. Which is not so surprising, considering that, that Magnum was a Detroit Tigers fan, and he actually appeared in Detroit at Tiger Stadium with Lou Trammell and, uh, Alan, and uh, Lou Whitaker and Alan Trammell. All right. Uh, let's see, next up is a the British series, the start of the American series. Uh, the American series had, had featured William uh, H. Macy in it. The English one uh, did not. Uh, I've this looks. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Ricky or, or or Gareth can tell me about this series. I got it here. It's brand new. Um, and it's the English version of Shameless, the first two seasons. It looks absolutely trailer park trash. Uh, the the Gallagher's boy, I'm, I'm Irish, and let me tell you, these guys, they look trailer park. Holy cow! I don't know if they have trailer parks in in, in the UK. 
Do they have trailer parks there? I don't know. Mobile home parks? Okay. Uh, but this is a brand new, uh, this brand new factory seal, the first two seasons. So, um, I, I know about the American one. I just don't know about the English one. Okay. Uh, next, I've got the whole, I got the first season of Longmere. I think I have a couple of seasons of this already. My dad got it. I, I think I got it from my dad. I'm not sure if I, I'm not sure if I got them in the first season though. I'm not sure. I have to go look for it. But I did get Long Mirror, so if I did get this as a double dip, I will be giving it away somewhere, somewhere down the line. Um, this was actually really cool right here, because uh, I love this show, believe it or not. <laughs> I, I actually did. I, 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 I thought it was a lot of fun, and I really liked it, and i um, really happy to get the first two seasons of it, and that was uh, Just Shoot Me. This one grows on you. Uh, David Spade was not nearly as obnoxious as he is now. Uh, of course, the, the person who steals this, this series uh, is definitely uh, Enrico Catalani. Catalani. The guy's an amazing actor. And, of course, he went on to play, uh, he went on to, to star in uh, uh, as Elias in Person of Interest. <sighs> what a great role that was. Love that, love that role. Love that, love that series. Still looking for season five. Still looking for the fifth season of Person of Interest. Um, yeah. And last but not least was a very charming little series. I used to, I used to see this on on Ion TV a lot. Uh, I don't know. I don't think they play it anymore at all. I'm not sure where this is streaming at. It probably maybe streaming on Tubi. It probably seems like it should. But for a while there, an eye on TV, or what they used to call PAX TV, they used to play this show all the time, even though it didn't last that long, but they still played it quite a bit. And um, last week I was saying how, with, when I was talking about The Incredible Hulk, how they split this, uh, each season up into volumes, like they divided it in half. It was just a way to try to generate more money for the, uh, for the company. So they, they would make you like, oh, okay, I got half the first season. I gotta get my, I gotta get the other half. Oh, I hated that. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, well, I mean, you know, obviously not now, but unfortunately, when this this series came out, they tried to do that with this series. I don't think it worked very well because I don't think very many people knew about it. Um, so I probably listen, probably languished in a lot of discount bins for a long time. But I did pick this up, and hopefully there will be some other ones. I don't expect to ever see this again in the wild. But I did pick up Volume 1 of Sue Thomas FBI. Now, uh, uh, now this is based off a true story, and has an a, a actress who is deaf, um, and that is uh, Deanne Bray. Uh, Deanne Bray is a deaf woman, and this is her story. This is uh, she stars. She stars as uh, Sue Thomas, and she helps uh, solve crimes with uh, with her investigative technique. She has a uh, hearing aid dog, and uh, I heard this is actually supposed to be pretty darn cute. So, uh, you know, as far as that goes, you know, family, family, you know, sort of like a murder she wrote type of level of the Texas show. Um, I've heard nothing but good things about it, and. Um, as you can see, it's fam very family friendly. They put the dove on there, so there's no violence on here. Probably not even no gunplay. It's probably just probably like Columbo, you know, where they they solve the uh, crime and there's there's nobody getting shot at the end of it. I mean, I don't think Columbo ever got into a shootout. In fact, that's a good question. Has Columbo ever shot his gun in anger? Wow, that's a good question. Wow. Yeah, okay. Well, there you go. Leave it in the leave it in the uh, leave it in the comments down below. So uh, this one is three discs and they're stacked on each other, which I don't like, but um, but it looks in good condition. Uh, and that is this week's uh, haul. All right. Um, uh, yeah. Thanks for everybody who's who's been watching our thirty one days of Halloween. Uh, by the time you hear this, we will be getting ready to enter our last week uh, of of that. And uh, hopefully uh, you guys will come by and visit the one the movies that we picked. Um, yeah, next year I'm probably gonna make this a little bit more uh, 
I'll make it. A, I'm gonna make it. I'm not, I don't know. I'm just, I'm deciding whether to do it or not. Uh, so if you'd like to see it do another 31 days of Halloween next year, uh, give me a hell yeah in the comment section. If you don't give a rat's ass, then I'll know that because you hadn't commented. And it's like, why should I comment? I don't care what you do. Do whatever the hell you want. Uh, all right. Uh, this lets you guys know too that next Tuesday, next Tuesday, the 30th, uh, will be, uh, in fact, in fact, I am actually going off on the 27th. So there will not be any more pickups until I come back in December. I am going to be, I'm going to be making the videos, but I'm not going to have them come out until I come back. So, um, yeah, because I'm not going to be online. I'm going to be on vacation. All right, that's it for us. Uh, we will talk to you soon. Peace.